Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on Architectural Desktop 2007, ADT 2007. And uh, this is a really great lesson on creating stairs from line work. Anyone who has tried to use the ADT uh, stair tool out of the box has uh, struggled, I'm sure, as I have since ADT used to be Auto Architect owned by Softdesk. But in ADT 2007, they introduced a new way of creating a stair from line work, which to me um, really makes the rest of the stair tool for ADT kind of obsolete because I've just started using the by line work tool and I can get exactly what I want and I just have to do a little bit of calculation myself and know how many risers I need which is perfectly fine I'm more than capable of um, getting my calculator out and determining how many risers I need between my uh, stair height so I've started to use this tool and it really I just avoid the regular stair tool although I for stair for straight stairs and very basic uh, landing type stairs but when you get into using winders and stuff like that I'll just erase this I find that it just um, gets a little bit tricky so I'll show you how I can uh, you can very very quickly create perfect stairs just from using your old-fashioned AutoCAD 2D line work and this is the stair we're going to create I'm just going to erase that I'm going to go back to my wireframe I'm going to look from the top view and all I've got in here is some basic line work. I've done a little bit of math. I know how many risers I need for this particular stair. And I've got on the outside, I've just got lines, 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 and lines. The inside, I've got some lines as well. And these are my riser lines. Okay. And then I've got a polyline here, which represents not the railing, but the stringer underneath. And then this also represents a stringer underneath and we can, you know, I can take that and offset and move it wherever I want. We can also add a stringer in in the middle and there's different options. The other thing is, is in my, um, on my tool palette under my design tab here, I've got different stairs. Now you can still, even though we create this stair, it still follows a stair style. So you probably still want to go in, have a look at format in your style manager. And inside your style manager, you probably want to go in and have a look at the stair styles, architectural, okay, stair styles. And notice there's a new winder style in here, which I've been trying to play with and still unsuccessfully getting my stairs done. So stairs, and we can go in here and right click and we can make a new stair inside of here. And, and then once you're inside there, you can check your design rules okay so and stringers etc so some of this stuff is redundant because when you do by line work it eliminates that but for the most part you should go in have a look at the stair style in your style manager get familiar with some of these settings okay landing extension stuff like that so have a look in here because this style is still being used it's just that we're not using the stair tool we're using the line work so have a look at this as well okay so now I have my line work very basic lines and this is all lines except for these two guys here that are polylines which are going to be my stringers okay move that over to the side and maybe hide my palette or not actually I'm about to use it so then I can go in here and what you do the trick is and this this is applicable in more than just stairs where you can right click on a tool and say create by line work similarly to the curtain wall system okay um, I'm going to go up to a stair and now this stair you should probably check the properties of this stair as well because this stair is using the um, you can specify a style in here as well okay so outside of that we right click on here and we say apply tools to line work yay everyone clap their hands okay so we say line work and it's going to ask us a series of questions inside of here. And the first thing it says is pick left and right sides. So it, I've discovered it doesn't really matter the order you pick these, but we're going to pick basically the outside lines of the stairs. That's it. We hit enter. And then it says select the stair path. Stair path can be a line that you can provide that will, you know, more uh, if you're using more of a curved stair because this can be curved or wine, you know, you can have any shape you want in here. And I'm just going to say A for or enter for automatic. 
and then it's going to say specify user defined left stringer path so this is my left over here which is a polyline and now it jumps right to the right path and i'm going to zoom in and pick this guy and then it's going to say define center stringer so these are stringers i don't have a center stringer so i'm just going to hit an enter and then it's going to say select first tread at current level well this is my bottom tread and then it's going to say select remaining treads okay no problem pick these guys hit an enter and then it bumps me into my nice little dialogue and it says okay this is the stair style you're going to use and you have an opportunity to change that the stair height i'm my previous one was 10 foot 2 and it's defaulting to that which is my height of my stair vertical orientation i am going up i want to terminate the top of the stair with a riser do i want to erase original geometry no i want to retain that i'm going to hit okay and shazam there's my stair beautiful now i'm going to say m for move i'm going to pick this stair and drag that over to the side hit escape go back and look at this from a 3d view maybe back in here and there's the stair beautiful got has my winders and everything on there of course the nice thing is with these is that i i find it's difficult to get my winders etc just by using the regular stair tool as is and then specifying the properties of what type of turn and winder and it you get the red circle of death in there and it's just a pain so define your line work if you don't if you want to set this back this tread from that corner you have your choice you can place these lines anywhere you want that's the beautiful part and we've been drawing stairs like this forever and ever i've i um, prefer this type where i can specify myself exactly where i want the lines to be this is the resulting stair now remember the break line stairs you can override your cut plane so if i want to move that break line in my stair i can click on this stair i can right click and i can go into edit the object display and inside of here under plan i can go up into here and i can under other i can override if i don't i had an override on previously if i don't override that hit ok it's going to take the normal cut plane of this particular medium detail display representation which is down there but i want to be able to see that winder to prove it so i'm going to right click and go back and and do that again edit object display and then under there because stairs can have an override of their cut plane which is what i'm specifying and maybe i'll even move that up to be you know eight feet okay looks good hit okay hit okay and now i've moved my cut plane so we can move that up and there's my stair okay i can go back to that 3d view that i had if I want to put a railing on there, I've added a railing. I've gone into my um, my content browser and I've um, dragged in a new railing type onto my palette here. And then I can right click on that and say import this into my drawing. It's going to bring that in. And now that I have that railing type inside of my um, drawing here, I can click on this stair. I can right click and I can say add a railing and then down in the bottom i'm reading my command line i'm going to say a for attach s for stair and then i can spec s for style if i want to make sure it's using that style hit enter and then i can just pick on there pick on there um attach style and i'm struggling a little bit with the railing here closing off this lesson i'm just going to go e for race you can see i've been continuously adding the same railing to the same side because i'm using the automatic option so just to uh, finish this off here um, click on the stair right click add a railing i'm going to check my properties and make sure i'm using the railing type i want which is the one i imported i'm going to go down here to say automatic play placement instead of saying yes attached to stair is fine um, side offset two inches i can change that to be in you know, a one inch whatever i want and then automatically placement i'm going to say no and then i'm going to go pick on this stair and i'm just going to pick a point there and then pick a point up there oh grab the wrong point again okay let's try this again from here 
I'm at a wrong angle here. Shift middle mouse button. Up to the top there. Hit enter. Do a regen. Okay. Struggling with my railing option here. Maybe turn this around a little bit. Try this again. Now I can also go click on here and say, you know, add selected. Okay. Go back to here, check my settings. This all looks good. And then hit click on here. Pick this bottom point over here. Probably zoom in a little bit closer up to there and shazam. There's my railing. Go back and do my shaded view. Have a look at the stair in the shaded mode. And that's about it. So use your line work and then uh, maybe add the railings afterwards. A couple things uh, you should take a look at on your properties on railings. So solves a lot of our problems from doing the normal stair tool um, out of the box.